to TGS in 2018. Uh, it was my second time going to Japan. And this trip actually opened my eyes a bit further to what Japan actually has in store. So uh, we went to visit uh, Team Labs, Anima Studios and whatnot and actually get to learn a lot more from them and also uh, experiencing uh, Japanese culture as a whole. Uh, it was a fun experience, uh, getting to be a bit more free, uh, walking around with friends and even lecturers as well, uh, exploring the Japanese streets and whatnot. We have a shared overseas experience. We went to uh, GDC together in San Francisco, uh, 2019. And we, we managed to meet up with, uh, managed to see a lot of industry experts, a lot of people from different walks of life, people who are really have spent their entire life in the industry and people who have just entered, like indie companies and stuff. Mm, my overseas experience was to Japan in the Trident, in, in Trident College with other Japan, Japanese programmers. It was interesting to see their different workflow from us and how much more they value some aspects, especially version control, you know, so, which means that they are better at working at projects than us in a more organized way. I had the opportunity to do my internship at France in 3IS and over there we got to work with other students. We did a card game and together with my friends we had to implement multiplayer again and I was uh, able to adapt with my team. We got to learn everything, implement it and the director was proud. So at the end it was quite an educational journey. Uh, I feel like Tokyo Game Show was one of the most fun trips I've ever been on uh, as, you know, as an overseas trip uh, because uh, over there I get to experience how uh, Japan is like and also get to go for the different talks and look at the different booths at, uh, during the Tokyo Game Show. Uh, it was definitely an uh, eye-opener in the game industry world, especially all the indie companies that are over there. They have all their booths and whatnot and it was something for me to look forward to in the future to actually do such things at things like uh, at Tokyo Game Show and whatnot. I was fortunate fortunate enough to go to uh, Nagoya, Japan, for uh, my FIP. So uh, it was for two months. I managed to. Uh, it, it was an opportunity to work with the students over there. The the work culture there is uh, very strong, and they're like really committed to their to their roles, and they they already kind of specialize into something that they want to do. For example, uh, this guy, he, he does rigging and he, he only does rigging, which is, and he does it very well. So uh, the people there are very uh, friendly. Uh, our first few days there, uh, they, they hosted like a welcome party for us. And it was, it was, very, uh, it was very nice to, uh, to be part of that. Uh, so what I did there, I was a uh, 3D modeler and texture artists for their team, making uh, props for their animation. In Polygon Pictures, they work collaboratively in a very, very large pipeline. There were about over 500 members. And being part of it made me feel very minuscule. But I was, it, it felt very fulfilling. Uh. Everything I did was passed on to another team. And the chain kept going and it made a very, very large impact on the final result just from that very little thing that I did early on. So, yeah, I think I really enjoyed my experience overseas. So we literally just got back last week from UK. We were at Leeds. We were visiting Leeds Art University. So we were doing project with the students there, and we got to see the similarities and the differences of how, how we work. So like how they, you, they are more hands-on with their graphics, and then we are more digital. And then um, it turned out to be a competition. We got, we got first place, and they got, gave us vouchers. And the whole experience was very fun. And then we got to we got to visit London and York for the cultural learning experience, like the history about it. So we had an exchange program with the, the graphic design students from Leeds Arts University. And we were given a brief and my group actually made a campaign about climate change. And it's really interesting to see like the way they the way they work with their projects is very different from how we work with our projects because over here, it's very quick, very fast-paced. But for Leeds, they actually take a slower pace even though they're still, they're, they are still quite fast. But in terms of like the conceptualization, it's more um, thought out compared to what it is. They have more like careful steps and it's quite helpful if we try to apply it for what we are doing here. Because I feel like over here, we're always too like, we're always thinking of the outcome. So it's, we're always very stressed out. 
But over there, it's more like, it's way more chill. It's really so chill over there. Yeah. Well, I think for me, like the only overseas opportunity I had was TS Skill Program, which was a student exchange program that we had with Thailand, so Rangsi University. And I think that was one of the most, my, my best overseas experience I've had, like even in my entire life. Because I got to meet a lot of friendly Thai students there and until now we still keep in contact. I think more importantly, I got to try to learn something which I don't have the chance to learn in SIDM, which was basically pixel art animation, which I think none of the visual effects students, we actually have a chance to learn here. I think it was a good opportunity for us to learn the culture in Thailand as well. So for my overseas experiences, I actually went to Finland to the Kayani University of Applied Sciences for my uh, overseas internship. Um, so there I was actually involved with a student team who was developing a game called Toy Thieves and I was creating 3D environments for their game. What I really like about Japan is like being able to experience the culture there, meeting the people there, talking to them, learning how they work with the games, Unity, Photoshop and all those stuff, like how they create art sets and things like that. So we worked at Candida Creative, it's a visual effects company in Los Angeles. The, the culture there is like really different um, and I guess we got to experience like how to you know organize stuff and like the different formats of things and then we get to understand like what's behind like the films and all that so I feel like we we gain more appreciation for like post-production.